I'm from Latvia and I lived there for 16 years and then I moved to London, England to finish high school and go to a tennis academy there and to get more opportunities to play tennis overseas, like in America. What was it like growing up in London? It was really fun. <laughs> it's a very big city and I was in a young age, but it was a lot of fun. Why tennis? Why? Why is tennis probably, I'm assuming, your favorite sport? Yes, of course. Um, my parents both play, but just for leisure. And so my dad used to be a hockey player, ice hockey player. So he really wanted his younger kid to be a good athlete. And tennis is pretty popular in Latvia, actually. I started playing when I was three years old and I got my first tennis racket for my first birthday. So I've been playing my whole life. Can you tell us a little bit about your opportunity as far as when you got recruited to come play at SPC for the Lady Titans? Yes, it was a great opportunity. I got really lucky because there were some problems with my school and being equal to the American schooling system. So Coach Phil really helped me out to get me here and it's an amazing place to be in. And I have a lot of opportunities now because I'm going to be graduating with my associate's degree uh, this summer and I can transfer to a Division I university hopefully after this. That's wonderful. No, and congratulations on that as you're Thank coming you. close to finishing up. Do you have a specific university in mind that you would like to try to attend? Um, not yet. Um, I just put out my recruit profile so I will see where I get offers from and I try, I'm going to try to stay in Florida because I love it here. So let's talk about Coach Girardi for a minute. He's been a successful uh, coach for our uh, Lady Titans for the last decade now. Yes. What have you learned so far from him? To always have faith in yourself, I think that's the main lesson I've learned from him because he's always there for us and he always has hope. So sometimes when you really think that you can't do it anymore, he always makes us to keep fighting until the end. And that actually really helps because the more you believe in yourself, the more you can actually win. Tell me, how has it been so far learning to play with your other international teammates? It's fun, and especially with the Japanese girls because they're... English is okay, so I can always try to help them out to talk in English and we try to teach each other our own languages a little bit, like Coco is my doubles partner, so sometimes we would say encouraging words in our language so no one else understands. I've taught her some Latvian words and she's taught me some Japanese, so it's a lot of fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can you talk about your preparation as far as, you know, how to be um, you know, provide the best skills that you can from what you learn in your game to go out there and compete? For tennis, it's definitely mentally being strong because you're there by yourself. It's an individual sport and even though you're in a team in a college, it's still really an individual sport. So you always have to be strong for it by yourself. And a lot of strength conditioning actually because the tennis match can go for like two hours. Do you have any specific goals that you would like to try to accomplish this season? Well, for the team, of course, go to nationals as we did last year. And last year we finished number six, which was great, but we could definitely do a lot better. And hopefully we can actually win the nationals this year. That would be my main goal for the whole team. Of course, it takes hard work and preparation to get to that point to be able to play in the nationals. With that being said, for this season, what are some key improvements that you think overall as a team that you guys can be better in? Probably communicating and supporting each other because some of the teams have great players individually and like, yes, tennis is an individual sport, but in a college team, every match counts and all together as a team, you have to support each other. Do you have a favorite uh, athlete or I should say a favorite tennis player? I love Serena Williams because her game style is kind of like mine, aggressive and she moves in the court a lot. So I always look up to her because she's very motivational and great mm -hmm. player. Before the game, before your match, I should say, do you have a specific routine that you like to follow? I always have my headphones in with my music and I just want to stay calm because it's very stressful sometimes especially if it's an important game but we always hang out with the team together and like make jokes and try to make it as calm as possible and yeah just listen to my music and warm up and be ready. Being so far away from home of course I'm sure you're probably homesick. Uh, um, 
Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of used to it, to be honest. And as I lived in London for two years already, it's really far, but I talk to my parents like almost every day. So it's really not that bad. And I visit once a year, so it's okay. And it's a lot fun here. So I don't really get homesick because I don't have a lot of free time either. I have to study and we have all the tournaments like during season. I really don't even have time to think about home like that. So far, how would you define your overall experience living here in the U.S.? It's great. I mean, I think I got really lucky about the place I'm in and everything because St. Petersburg is a nice city and the beach is right there and the weather is great. So it's been really great. I think I couldn't ask for a better time.